What's going on YouTube? West Toffees RC. So today we are back with a widely asked for video. So in this video, we will be going over how to hook up your SRXL2 on a brain slash icon fly barless unit. So for your SRXL2, I personally use the SPM 4651 SRXL2 receiver with actual antennas. Now you can get this antenna list or antenna. I prefer the antenna version. You also, depending on the size of the helicopter, you want a SPM 9745, and this is a DSMX satellite. So now for the SRXL2, we have a four wire going from the SRXL2, and we need to go to channel three of the icon or brain so they're both the same icon and brain are both identical made by msh just depending on where they were originally sold so we're going to go to channel three and we need to convert this four wire to a three wire so go ahead hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let's get started so now the first thing you will notice here is your black wire so this black wire right here on the left side of the connector, this is going to be your ground wire. So that is always going to be ground. That orangish wire next to the black wire is going to be your power. Gray, which is this wire right here, is not going to be used. And this pinkish red wire is your signal. So what you want to do is you want to take an X-Acto knife, go ahead and lift this tab. Get your X-Acto knife under that tab and go ahead, grab that gray wire and pull it on out. So if you put a little pressure, that gray wire will come right out of there. So this gray wire is not used. So we're gonna go ahead and completely get rid of it. You can cut it out if you want to. I like to just unpull it from the pin and then we're gonna do the exact same on this side here. So we're gonna come in, we're gonna take our X-Acto knife and we are going to completely lift this little pin up it can be a little tricky to get the blade underneath of it so it might take you a time or two now that we got it go ahead pull the gray wire out so now this gray wire can go into garbage no longer needed so now we are left with three wires and again black is going to be your ground this orangish color wire next to the black is going to be your positive now depending on which srxl2 you get can depend on the colors of the wire but every one next to black so black negative power signal always in that order and this is what i mean about being different so now if you notice they're different colors it's the same basic thing though your black is your ground this more orange color because they're going to be different colors is going to be your power and then this purple wire here is going to be your signal. And again, gray is not needed. Now, this color wire comes with the antennaless SRXL2, and this color wire comes with the antennaed SRXL2. So now that our gray wire is removed, we need to cut an end off. Now, you can solder a servo plug because we need to go to a servo plug for channel three to work on the icon. So now what I personally do is I see how long the wire I need. If it's a raw series, it might be real short. Crack it might be long, depending on where you're putting on any helicopter, where you're putting in. You might even have to extend this wire. So what I know for this helicopter I'm putting it on, I'm just going to cut it flush, cut the connector off. So now we're left with three wires. SRXL2 side, this is going to be the icon side. So I know again that our black is ground that our orange ish color wire is positive and this more reddish color is signal so now i'm going to convert this to a servo plug so i'm going to go ahead and strip the wire back cut off about half inch of wire more like a quarter inch wire so now our wire is exposed here so now i'm going to grab my servo end crimpers which if you guys watched the video on how to crimp your own servo ends, very useful tool. So now we're gonna open up our servo crimpers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my crimp into the crimper and get it ready. I always like to pull the servo plug all the way till it stops. Then I'm gonna start with my brown or my ground. So I'm gonna start with ground. I'm going to insert it into the servo end. I look from the other side and I'm gonna go ahead and crimp down. 
now one is done. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the next one the same way. Put it in my crimper, crimp it down, get it ready, pull it till it stops. That way we crimp in the right spot. Then I'm going to start with, next one is going to be my power. So we're gonna move our ground out of the way. We're going to insert our power into the servo crimp here. Pay attention on the other side. And we're going to crimp down. Now we're going to take a look at it, and that is a perfect crimp. Now we're going to move on to our last one. So once we put it in, you will notice how far it's sticking out here. We pull it till it stops. Get it ready to where it's not crimping yet, but it's holding the plug in place. And we're going to come back with our signal wire. We are going to insert our signal wire in. Look through the other side, right to that wire touches there, and crimp it down. So now all three of our plugs are ready to go into the now servo. We are ready end. to install our servo end on our SRXL2 wire. So again, ground, power, signal. And that's just exactly how we are going to install them into the servo plug. So we're just going to slide our connectors into here, get them straightened up, and go ahead and slide them until they click. We heard them all click, there we go. So now we have a wire to go from our SRXL2. So that end plugs into our SRXL2. And this end is gonna plug right in to channel three of the icon. Now remember, ground at the bottom, signal at the top. So we're gonna come right to channel three, plug it in. So now we are plugged into channel three. We are plugged into our SRXL2. Depending on the size of the model, we might want to run a separate satellite, and we have the spot to run two satellites here. I personally have found on even 700 size machines, an SRXL2 in one satellite is all you really need. If it's a Kraken model or a full carbon fused model, two satellites is always better. You can never be too safe. It's redundancy. Think of this as like an insurance policy. So now what you would do is you would take your DSMX satellite. Now that we have our SRXL2 plugged in, take your satellite wire. And since we're just doing this for bench review, you're going to plug it into satellite one or satellite two. It doesn't matter which one you go to, just satellite one, satellite two. We're going to plug it into one and then we're going to take our satellite plug it into the opposite end here, plug this in. So now we have our satellite, DSMX satellite, plugged into satellite port number one or two. It does not matter. If you have two, then you would plug it into two. And we have our SRXL2 wired into channel three. So now we can open up the software and get this binded up. So now this is what we got going. We got our icon brain plugged into our USB cable. We're gonna plug our USB cable into our USB on our computer. We have our radio ready, and now we're ready to bind this. So you will might need a power supply. Now this is an old six volt life battery, but we're gonna go ahead and power up our unit. Some icons brains can be powered up by the USB only. Some of them have to be powered up with our power supply. So we're going to go ahead and plug our battery. Now in. our battery is plugged in. One thing to always remember, never, ever, ever, ever plug any sort of power into channel 456. These are signal only ports. Any other port can take power. 456 cannot take power. So now we are powered up and now we are ready to go over to our software here. So we're going to come up to our icon software. We're going to go ahead and open up icon. It's going to open up on the computer. It's going to scan the port. It's going to say that this unit is in factory defaults. This is a brand new unit. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. And the software is going to open up. So now that our software is opened up, now of course you're going to go through, set your helicopter up. But you're going to go set up how it's oriented so we know all that. So now we're going to come over to the second tab here, which is number three on the actual software, number three. We're gonna come over to our receiver selection. And what we wanna select is SRXL2, the second one down. So we're gonna click this. Okay, now in this menu here, we wanna come down to where it says Spectrum Bind right here. So we're gonna click Spectrum Bind. And then it's gonna give you this warning. Now you're gonna to have to unplug your unit and disconnect power. So you're gonna hit okay, and it will close the software out. 
So now we're gonna come over and we are going to unplug our USB, unplug it from the computer, be easier, and we're gonna unplug our power. Now, when we go to plug our power back in, you will see the SRXL2 and you will see your DSMX satellite flashing. If you don't have a satellite, then it'll just be the SRXL2. So now we just powered the unit back up and you see flashing of the SRXL2 and flashing of the DSMX satellite. So now we are in bind mode. So now you're gonna grab your transmitter. So now we have our transmitter. We're gonna go ahead, turn it on. And now we are ready to bind. So we're gonna come down here, hit our bind. Binding. Bind complete. DSMX 11 milliseconds. Telemetry. So now it's finding its packets, which is going to be for the telemetry. And now we are completely binded. So now we have a solid light on our SRXL2 and we have a solid light on our DSMX satellite. So now we are completely binded and you're ready to do everything else that you need to do. You have your full telemetry, everything is working. Now, sometimes if you're binding inside, like I do in my garage, there's metal, sometimes it won't bind. So if you're having an issue with it binding, as you've seen, I had to step outside and bind it and it binds perfect every time. So just so you know, if you guys have issues with binding, it won't bind, try going outside and it will bind. So there you guys go, a quick little video on how to wire a Spectrum SRXL2 to a Icon slash Brain. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this little video. I hope it has answered some of your questions because I've got this question a lot. So if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, take care and have a great day.